Scammers can exploit deepfake technology in several ways to scam grandparents or other senior individuals. Here's a breakdown of how such a scam might typically occur. Target selection. The scammer chooses a senior individual, possibly a grandparent, who may be less aware of digital technologies and deepfake capabilities. They might obtain information about their family members especially grandchildren, through social media or other online sources. Using deepfake technology, the scammer creates a highly realistic video or audio recording. This could involve impersonating a grandchild or another family member. The deepfake would be convincing enough to make the grandparent believe they are actually speaking with their loved one. The scammer contacts the grandparent, often via a video call. Using the deepfake, they might use urgent, emotional, or distressing narratives to catch the senior off guard. For example, the deepfake might show the grandchild in a seemingly dangerous or desperate situation. In this video call, the impersonated individual might claim to be in a serious situation like a legal trouble, a medical emergency, or being stranded in a foreign country without money. The scammer, through the deepfake, then asks for immediate financial assistance. They may ask for money to be wired, bank details, or credit card. Information, the urgent nature of the request, puts pressure on the grandparent to act quickly, often without verifying the story. The scammer may also insist that the grandparent keep the situation a secret from other family members further isolating the victim and preventing them from verifying the story. If the grandparent sends money, the scammer quickly collects it. This might be through untraceable methods like wire transfers, prepaid debit cards, or even cryptocurrency. Once the scammer receives what they want, they disappear. The grandparent is left with financial loss and emotional distress upon realizing the deceit. It's vital for families to discuss the existence and dangers of deepfake technology, especially with older members who may be more vulnerable, awareness and education, along with verifying suspicious requests through direct. Known contacts are key in preventing such scams.